Today, I believe I have installed the best mod in GTA 5. This mod allows you to use the cargo plane, mount cars in the back of it. Yes, you can mount them. They won't be flying around and bouncing around everywhere. They will be frozen in place in the back of this plane. And then you could also detach them, drive out of the back of the plane, and as a bonus, you could put the cargo plane in autopilot. And as an even bigger bonus, you can put a parachute on any car you want. It's honestly a dream come true for Fast and Furious fans. You can recreate that exact scene driving out the back of a cargo plane and parachuting down onto a mountain. It's amazing. And I'm going to be showing it to you guys today. If you guys want to install this mod, it's very simple. All you guys have to do is drag some files into your main GTA directory and then also drag some files into your scripts folder and you're good to go. With that said, I hope you go on to enjoy today's video. And without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so we are currently arriving at the airport right now, and just to our left on the runway, we are actually going to have the cargo plane spawned in and some vehicles that we need to load up into the back of this plane. Our pilot is actually already inside the cockpit ready to go. You can see the cargo door is open and we got our cars sitting right here. Let's just take a look at them really quickly before we head out. So right here we have a custom Supra. We then have a modified coil brawler. You can see the suspension has been raised a lot. The tires are a little bit bigger. It honestly does look pretty damn nice. Then we got a beautiful Dodge Viper. We got an 812 super fast. Right here we have the 918 Spider. And then to my left, the G63 AMG 6x6. This thing has been modified like crazy. As you can see, the grill is almost at my eye line. Like that is crazy. This truck has been lifted up and obviously been fitted with some massive off-roading wheels. So now what we're gonna do is take all of these cars and load them up into the cargo plane. So let's start off with the Supra. All right, there we go. Nice and easy. So now what we're going to do is actually open up the menu. So to do that, we click shift C and then you can see we have all these cool settings that we can mess with. So we're going to go ahead and attach this vehicle into one of the 15 slots in the back of this plane. So I say, let's just attach it to slot number one. So we go ahead and click enter and then boom, just like that. The car is now mounted to this spot. We could take off, we could fly a thousand miles per hour and it will not move. All right, we got the coil brawler right here. This thing looks insane. This is actually insane. I think we're gonna mount it somewhere around here just cause I don't really know which car I wanna drive out with yet. I think I'm gonna drive out the back with this thing though cause that's kind of awesome. All right, boom, there we go. So we have mounted the vehicle right here. So it'll be nice and easy to drive out of the plane with this. We literally just, you know, hop in it and we out just like that. All right, let's quickly load up the rest of these vehicles so we can get this thing in the air. All right, and the final vehicle, look at how massive this thing is. Let me just go in first person. Look at this shit. It looks beautiful inside. We got a nice looking bobblehead right there too. But like this thing is just gigantic. Can it even fit inside of here? Holy shit, is this ever huge? Oh my, look at the size of the tires comparing it to the brawler. So let's mount this vehicle, boom. There we go. So we have all of the vehicles inside and they are not going to move. We could still fit another nine vehicles inside the back of this plane. Is that not awesome? You don't even have to set it into autopilot mode or anything. You could literally fly this thing straight to another airport and then unload all these vehicles if you like doing those role play experiences, I guess. But this is freaking awesome. All right. Anyways, let's go ahead and close up the cargo ramp. So let's go over here and just raise the ramp just like that. Let's just go make sure the pilot is all good and ready to go. All right. We're in the cockpit and I mean, he's just vibing here. I think he's good to go. So the pilot is just alerted me. We'll be taking off in about two minutes time. So I guess we're going to get ready and then uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the air. All right, baby, we are airborne. Look at this. Damn. Hopefully this guy doesn't crash the goddamn plane. This is pretty freaking awesome. All right, let's go down to the cargo hold and take a look at some of the cars down there. See how they're doing. All right, we are in the cargo hold. I mean, honestly, the cars are pretty much fine. All right, let's open up the ramp just because, you know, why not, right? So let's release it. There we go. Let's head on over there. I want to see what this looks like. Look at that. So 
so I honestly think we're gonna take this thing, we're gonna drive out of the back of this cargo plane and parachute down onto the ground. That is gonna be freaking awesome. But obviously we're not gonna do that in the city. So let's let the plane go for a little bit and then uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Oh shit. Oh sheesh. Bro, my guy just freaking, oh, oh, holy sh Okay, yeah, this is why we have our seatbelts on. I have a feeling this dude was about to run into the mountain. Was he like texting or something and then forgot to pull the plane up? That, oh no, he almost hit the freaking eclipse towers. But guys, I can't get over this view. Oh no, this dude, is this? Oh no, he's gonna pull up again. Yo, there's a mountain right there. Okay, yo, we'll take a look at the view in just a second. Oh, yep, there it is, there it is. He's pulling up, he's pulling up. Oh my. Holy shit. This is terrifying looking at the back. Oh my. Like imagine just falling to your death through this thing. Okay, let's go take a look outside here and look at this view. Wow. This is beautiful. We're, I mean, we're out here now, so I say we get into the car and uh, we get this thing going, baby. All right, we are in the car. We're ready to go. This is honestly sick as hell. We are ready to go. We backed up a little bit just because, you know, it would be a little cooler. But anyways, here we go. We are going to launch in five four three two one go oh baby holy shit fast and furious vibes holy shit parachute has been deployed let's go where'd the plane go there it is it's all the way up there Oh my god. All right, let's get to the ground now. Let's get to the ground. This is actually so awesome. I see the road. Let's hit it. Let's hit it. Let's hit it. And landed it. Let's go, baby. Yo, that was lit. Damn, bro. That was actually so sick. All right, baby. We're back inside the plane. And now we're in the G63 6x6. Let's do it, shall we? Here we go in three, two, one. We out of here, baby. Let's go. Oh my God. All right, let's initiate the parachute in three, two, one. Boom. And we are good to go. Let's go, bro. Guys, this is actually so sick. This is actually so freaking sick. Do you know what would make this even better though? doing this with your friends well luckily you can take a look down below in the description there's a file you could download so you could play story mode with your friends with mods all they need to do is download the exact same mod that you have the one with the parachute and the cargo plane mod they'll be able to see everything and do everything you're doing look i have it installed gta co-op i can literally connect to one of these servers right now we got two people here we got 13 people here i would join a server with zero people so maybe something like this and then just go mess around with your friends and do this shit together because that is just going to be awesome you can actually make some really really cool clips of you all driving out of the back of a cargo plane with different vehicles and all of them have parachutes that would be awesome anyways let's land this thing on the ground safe and sound and boom successful landing guys this is honestly the coolest mod ever in gta 5 i absolutely love it all right so we're back inside of the cargo plane we are with our Dodge Viper, and currently we are right above the Alamo Sea. We are going to shoot out of this thing once again and parachute down onto the top of Mount Chiliad, which is going to be pretty awesome. We should be nearing it any second now, so let's get ready. I feel like this plane is about to pull up into the air pretty high, but I don't really know yet. But all I know is this. We are going to be jumping out of this plane in a matter of seconds. All right. I say we hit it in three, two, one. Here we go, baby. Oh, shit. Look at that. Okay, yeah. So we definitely would have wanted to be a little bit higher and maybe had some off-road wheels or something like that because, uh, because you know, uh, this is a sports car with sport wheels on it and uh, we're about to go off-roading. But hey, we still made it. Guys, I cannot stress this enough. Like I said, this is hands down the best mod I've ever downloaded in GTA 5. I'm telling you, you are going to love using this mod in GTA 5. I would highly recommend downloading it. Like I said, all the links you need are down below in the description to download the cargo plane mods so you can get access to all of these cool scripts. And then also the parachute mod where, you know, you get a parachute on virtually any car you want. All you have to do is just 
you know, add it to the car and then click space and then boom, you got a parachute. And then of course, if you want to play with your friends, then download the GTA co-op menu and then just connect to the same server. And then there you guys go. You can do all of this together. Once my friends get on, I am definitely going to show them this and we are all about to have a lot of fun. But anyways, that is pretty much going to wrap the video up for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think of this mod down below in the comments section. And with that said, I will catch you guys in the next video.